Friday again. It's Fantastic Friday. 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 Friday yeah. already? That's whizzed by this week, isn't it? It has, it certainly has. Uh, probably not if you've been watching, it's probably been long, drawn out and very long. But anyway, here we are, and uh, we've got so much to look forward to yeah. today. The main thing we've got to look forward to is Rochelle is in the kitchen. It's, it's, is... I'm not used to seeing you standing in the kitchen. Well, I'm used to it at home. Yes. But this is like home from home, right? So, first time I've cooked on here. Today. Because I, I follow you on Instagram, so you cook a lot at home. I watch you all the time. You yes. love a roast dinner like me. Well, we're always sending each other messages yeah. about each other's food, yes. aren't we? So, yeah, I'm, today I'm going to be doing my Thai green curry, which is like a staple in our house, a family favourite. And it's so quick, so easy. What your kids eat? They will eat it, yeah. yeah. So I'm going to show you how to do it for fussy eaters, like maybe take certain things out, but I'm just not about cooking a thousand meals. And does Marvin cook? Uh, ask me that again, Mary. Does Marvin cook? Ask it down the barrel and Marvin. he can tell you. Do Marvin. you cook, Marvin? Do you cook, <laughs> Marvin? I bet you eat. <laughs> yeah, he eats. You know, in fairness, in defence, Saturday, he does breakfast on Saturday. That's his thing. Nice. Uh, so you get a lion on Saturdays, then? I was about lion, but I get to eat some <laughs> sausage and beans. And I, I try to cook. I, I'm not allowed. I'm banned. Is that what you call it? I swear, I'm banned from the kitchen. I'm banned. Have you been on the phone to Marv? Well, <laughs> yeah. It's, just, well, it's not that you're banned from the kitchen. I am. You don't come in there very often, and when you do, it's a lot of mess. And you tell... Not very much going much on. Game. You know what I mean? <laughs> yes. And you say, get out, get out, leave me alone in here. Because it's quite a sort of serene thing, isn't it? Yeah. But get a little glass of something. And well, that's the nice thing. I, yeah, it's kitchen. like a hobby for me. And mm -hmm. I, it's my relaxation. I have the music me cranked too. up. I can relax playing. doing something that means you've got to wash dishes. Well, I don't put them in the dishwasher. <laughs> well, see, that stresses me out, yeah. all of that. You know? Oh, I love it. Anyway, it's lovely to have you here nice in the kitchen. It's always lovely to have you here anyway. But Cruise ship holidays are back. From Monday, the travel rooms rules change. Uh, and this morning, we've sent Alice on board a brand new one. Oh, hi oh, there! Cocktails already, Alice. Oh, ahoy there! Drink a cocktail on a cruise ship, they said. They didn't mention it was in Portsmouth Harbour in a gale. Oh, no, they didn't. But welcome on board the very beautiful, brand spanking new Scarlet Lady. This is the very first of Virgin Voyages cruise ships. And as you say, from Monday, international cruising is back. And Eamon, I know you're dying to get the gorgeous Mrs. Holmes onto a cruise ship. She is going to love this. I'll show you inside where it's nice and warm later. Thank you, that was the table. <laughs> We did the news review. Yeah, wait till they hit the open sea. Lovely, very, very good. Look at the architecture board that ship. They really are worth the bar. I do love a cruise, love ship, a cruise personally. ship, personally. I like them. I know you're adverse to them, but. But just because I get too seasick. And I know people say you don't get seasick on a cruise, but I'm not sure I want to take the But you risk. never do anything about it. You never wear the bands, you never get hypnosis, you never take medicine. Because I'm not bothered, really. I just don't go on a boat, and then I'm fine. <laughs> just stay on dry land. And then every time I go on a boat, people say, where's Ruth? Is Ruth not with you? No, she's not with me, no. What happened the last time we went on a boat together? We had to come back. I had to come back. I chartered a boat. <laughs> it was beautiful. It was beautiful. We were supposed to be out for the whole day, and we went, oh, we're going to sail around here, and there's this lovely cove. An hour later, we and were going to go dock. drop anchor. We're going to have to, like, literally, an hour later, I was green, like this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you, did think, you thought that gin and tonic actually would... That's a lie. I was, that was water, so don't even make that up. No, but gin... gin you made that so. up. It was water. OK. Uh, let's go to our vet. Dr Scott is here uh, talking about dogs, Scott, that need a bit of assistance getting about. That's right. So today we'll be chatting to the inspirational lady behind the charity Winston's Wheels, Rachel Wetner, who has helped to save over 300 paralysed dogs from being put down. Uh, she is a truly uh, wonderful lady and we'll be meeting some of those dogs a little bit later. Good, good. Excellent to hear that work going on. All of that plus this to look forward to. We've got an Olympic gold medalist right here on our sofa today. Tom Daly's diving partner, Matty Lee, is back. He'll be here telling us about the amazing Tokyo experience, hopefully clutching his gold medal. He'll be here at 20 past 10. Mr Stephen Mulhern, Mr Saturday Night himself, talks to us about the latest series of Rolling In It. 10 past 11, looking forward to that. 
and more true crime for you this morning. Another film from crim criminologist Professor David Wilson, uh, Catching a Killer, returns at 11.45. And Deirdre will be taking calls this morning. It is an open phone-in, so anything you'd like to talk about... I'd like to people to talk about things that aren't miserable all the time, <laughs> Deirdre. That's just me. I think happy things should be expressed as well, because feel-good is contagious and it's a feel-good feel Friday, Friday, is it not? Yeah, that is good. On the other hand, this is a problem phone -in. You know, problems tend to have their depressing side. But this is all about you, whether you're watching at home, a campsite for a B and B or a holiday hotel. Have you got anything going wrong? Maybe in your relationship, it could be short term. Maybe you're getting snippy with one another and you want to know how to ease the atmosphere. Or maybe you've got a real long term problem going on and you're thinking, is this make or break? What do I do about it? Maybe you've got a problem with the kids. You know, they're, maybe they're just driving you nuts. Some holidays tend to be a time when problems with youngsters, be they, you know, very tiny ones or the teenagers, tend to start emerging and you just think, how am I going to resolve this? Problems with parents, family, siblings, or maybe your problem going back to relationships. The thing is, you haven't got a relationship. You'd really like to know how to get one. So whatever your problem is there at home, we're here to help. But if you want to send in a happy message as well for Eamon, by all means, do, and we'll celebrate it. There is Hashtag happiness. Aim and happiness. Well, I don't understand all that people getting snippy with each other. Who, who gets snippy? Who's, who, <laughs> could you, I couldn't imagine no. that going no. on. No. I no. mean, one person may get snippy with the other, but both of you getting <laughs> snippy all at snippy. once. She's a bit snippy. A bit snippy. Yeah. Mm. Well, if you're feeling a bit snippy and you want to share it with us or Deirdre, there is the number to call 08000 30 40 No, I know, 44. I know. How snippy do you about people interrupting me how when do I'm you, talking. How do you deal with snippiness? If there's something snippy in your life, how do you diffuse it? How do you diffuse it? What do you do to take the sting out of certain <laughs> waspish people? How anyway, as I was saying... The number to call on your screen. You can also download our free This Morning app, uh, get involved on there. Do that by 11.15 so we can get your questions to Deirdre. And you must be 18 or over, please. Because if you own kids, you go, fine. Exactly. Them, them, like, but you always feel responsible to give something yeah. healthy, don't you, to exactly other people's that. children? And I think it's so important to get kids involved in food as well. And I think they end up trying a lot more, I find, if they've been part of the Definitely. process. So if they've chopped up something, they'll want to, sh you know, Alaya will want to show it off to her dad because she's like, I've cooked this, isn't it? Talking with accent? dad, Marvin. Mm. Hello, Marvin. Hello. Marvin, I just let them talk. I mean, I'm <laughs> yeah. enjoying it. It's yeah. everything's um, bubbling. So, we were teasing earlier, but does he cook, like to cook or does he just let you get on with it? He does let me get on with it, um, but I'm OK with that because I do actually enjoy it. He does, as I said, Saturday breakfast is his thing, which he's very good at. But, yeah, he, he kind of... He did this thing ages ago where he sort of said, oh, you're, you're good at it, so I just let you do it because I won't... That sort of happened with, like, making the bed <laughs> and a few other things <laughs> that I'm a lot better at, apparently. Um, but, no, he, he's actually really mean at a fry-up. So if you want a fry-up, come and knock on the Hume's okay. door on a Saturday morning because he's Will very do. good. So you're putting soy sauce on So you. I like soy sauce on my rice. I think I do quite like a lot of it, but it's quite salty, so I always buy the less... Well, the, the one with where less Ruth will like this. Ruth doesn't do Thai food. She doesn't like it. We don't go to Thai no, restaurants. No, this is not too chilly. But this is uh, so light for you. Yeah, it's it's nothing going to burn yeah, your... But you can adapt it. So that's why... So at the end, so I'll do, like, a big squeeze of the lime, coriander, chilli, add what you want. You know, like, for... My, my eldest will have a bit of spice. My young... My middle, no chance. And then, obviously, Blake is a baba, so... A bit of chilli for me. Marv will have extra chilli. That's because yeah. he's hot. Is it? Hi, Marv. <laughs> He'll like that. <laughs> he will love that. But, it yeah, it's delicious. just easy, fresh. Thank you. Time saving. Uh, if Thank you'd like you. to make this, the details, the recipe details are on our website and all sorts of recipes from our other chefs yeah. on this morning app. Rochelle, just when I thought you couldn't be any more perfect, absolutely amazing. <laughs> Let's go to Kay and find out what's happening Loose Women Wise today. Uh, hi, Eamon. Lots of hot topics coming up today, including how would you feel if your delivery driver asked you out on a date? Is it flattering, perhaps a bit predatory? Also, after Miley Class posted this video of her one-year-old Apollo unloading the dishwasher, <laughs> oh we're asking, God. should you get your toddler to do the chores? And does your house have feelings? Judy thinks yes, so. Yes, yes. Got to clean that house. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> That's Thank a good you, idea. What? Teaching the children early to do the chores. Well, one. Very Impressed. good. Excellent stuff. Maybe someone should have taught you. Guys, thanks for watching today. Uh, thanks for watching this week. And have a lovely, lovely weekend. Yeah, We're just sure. going to have our lunch. Thanks, thanks to thanks Rochelle. Thank you very much indeed. Have See a good day. Bye-bye. <laughs>